So friends, it's Wednesday, the 2nd of November, 2022, and I'm making a little queenie. Now, back in the day, I made several of these queenies um, for folks that were into the Day of the Dead celebration in Mexico, um, Dia del Muertos. So, um, yeah, and I was, I was really, <laughs> I was into making it quite funky and a little bit freaky <laughs> to uh, give it a joy of life and celebrating death. So um, this is my favourite one. This is the one I, I kept. Um, these I made for craft fairs back in the day. So um, I've got queen silhouette in the centre and spring chicken as well in the crockery. You know, you can see it there, spring chicken. And then um, I've sinned again. So I thought it's just, you know, me being a little bit naughty. And um, I had quite a few, I have quite a few um, of these gorgeous plates that have crowns on the end of them. So what I did was uh, over time is cut up these crowns um, for future queenies. So I've got a little queenie box of crockery. <laughs> so my friend has requested that I make her daughter um, a queenie for Christmas. So this is what I've been working on this week. Now, do you remember in the last video I had crockery, a crockery stash that was given to me on Sunday. Um, so it's now uh, Wednesday. So I've been, I went straight to it and started using them. Um, and this I thought would make her a lovely skirt, you see, can you see? So, uh, so what I did was I scored and snapped. I've just scored and snapped one. I'm, I'm going to score and snap another one for another part of it for you. But as you can see, there's quite a ridge there. Now, what I've decided, uh, what I decided to do was, firstly, I did try and use silicon glue um, to glue it down, but because of the height of it, um, I've decided to use. Um, my Bow Max Flex Fiber Tile Adhesive. It's a really good tile adhesive. Unfortunately, only available in the UK. Sorry, friends in the US, etc. So, as you can see, there's quite a little bit of uh, of the tile adhesive underneath it. You can see there where where the ridge is. And uh, so, what I've done is I've made sure that it's it's flat to the surface of the wood the rest of it i've um so you can see it sort of stands out a little bit so the skirt looks like it's over it's tucked over the uh can you see rib cage there my friend charlotte clark makes lots of um crockery with um decals of skeletons and skulls and whatnot. Um, so these were rejects, these are faded. So I've used them in, uh, in my little queenie there. And um, this is a skull bead, which uh, I found, well, there was a load of um, in a bead shop near me. Unfortunately, that bead shop is shut down, but I'm sure you can find it on eBay or bead shops. I'm sure these are available elsewhere. And some more crockery there and my little crown. But yeah, so going back to this, this has got quite a height to it. Um, and people often say to me, um, aren't you, uh, how do you, how do you figure out the height compared to the tile? Let me just show you. Um, So I'm going to use quite a thick red tile and uh, and pop it next to it. But I'm going to make sure there's enough wriggle room, as it were, to grout in between so that you're almost, even though it's slightly lower, the tile is slightly low to the crockery, it works as a, 
an undulation or, a, you know, it, you know, it's absolutely fine to use different heights. Um, this is more equal. And so the, so is this, this is absolutely flat too. Um, and the reason why it's flat too is because I've been using, um, pâté de verre, uh, tiles. Um, you can use glass, uh, thin glass to give it some height underneath your crockery or your embellishments. Um, I cut them with a, a rounded tile nipper and glue them on with silicon glue. So yeah, so back to that. Um, so it's just about having enough space in between for, for your grout to go sitting in between so that it, it looks like it's, uh, it's uh, sculpted down to it. So it will work. There's quite a bit of a gap in between the legs there and the edge of the skirt. So you're thinking sculpturally is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so back to cutting crocs. Let me see if I can re rearrange. So what I've got here is, uh, is like I say, this plate, uh, which was in the croc stash, perfect really, because there's a little bit of goldiness. Can you see the goldiness? It's really quite sparkly, actually. Got quite a sunny day today. Um, yes, so, let me get my glove on. I always put my gloves on because uh, this isn't your usual crockery. It's, uh, it's porcelain, so it's really high-fired and really thick to cut. So I don't tend to cut with my side biters for this initially. Um, it's more about scoring and snapping. So let me just... Uh, Bring you down a little bit more. Sorry. Right, so hopefully you'll be able to see this with creaky floorboards in the background. So what I do is I score the plate with my Toyo glass cutter. So I've given it a scratch line there. And then I use my score snapper and then give it a squeeze. Simple as really. Oh, there you are. Sorry. Simple as really. Now, thankfully, can you see there's a little bit of, uh, there's a little bit of, a little bit of a damage there. But what I'll do is I'll use my tile nipper. Whoops. Now this is when you say, oh, Caroline's made a mistake. Caroline doesn't, doesn't usually make a mistake, does she? So <laughs> I do make mistakes. So what I'm doing is snip it. I'll snip off this bit because, you know, it's actually, it's actually that bit that I used. So, you know, it depends really, because sometimes you might want to have a flower or embellishment there so that... <laughs> It'll fit. So I could score that and then use my side biter. Let me see if I can do that. I like the fact that I'm making mistakes live for you as well because people seem to think I never miss, make, make a mistake. So where are you? There you go. I'm going to score that. I'm going to snap that. Where are you? There you are. I've got this camera on a tripod, so so can you see that? Did you see that? So now what I could use now is a wheel nipper. So I'm using the Montelit wheel nipper because it's quite thick at the back there. There you go, look. Very difficult to do do a show and tell on the, you know, on your own really. Um, now, did I score that? Let me just score that line again. Thank 
Usually I do this much more carefully. I'm not doing that carefully because I'm just showing you. <laughs> Here we go, look. Look, and now that mistake has disappeared, really. I mean, I could nibble, I could nibble this around like this, you see, using the back of the tar nipper. Thankfully, it's behaving itself. You know what will happen at the end, don't you? It's probably just come away. Look, it almost looks like a wee kilt. So that works out nicely. And I could just very gingerly. Sorry. Now, of course, this has taken me years to develop these cutting skills, particularly concave. And can you see I'm using that little nip, that little edge bit of the tar nipper, the back of it? Because uh, this is what I call the front. And this is the top. And that there is the back. But I find it's a lot stronger than the front. And you see, I feel that you get more control. There you go. So then what I would do is use tile adhesive so that it's flat on the surface. Yes, it does curve up, but you know, quite a lot of... Uh, mosaics I've used I've um, I've made I've used that undulation like that baby there you see let me walk you towards it can you see all the curves So you can see there quite clearly, there's a curve of a crockery line there. And then I've used grout. Yeah, let me show you. So I've used the grout as part of the design as well. You know? And the same for these as well, actually. So it's the grout line that, uh, let's bring you up a little bit more. All live. <laughs> it's not, not the best. There you go. You can understand what I'm talking about here. So this is, uh, this is the, It feels like it's a shadow, but actually that's grout. And because Mape Ultra Color Plus can take up to a 20, 20 mil gap without cracking and discoloring, it, you know, this mosaic is 10 years old. And uh, look how, look how strong that color is. And I use the grout as part of the design as well, such as the, the patterning becomes, you know, the grout becomes the patterning. So uh, that's what I'm doing today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm working on, give you a decent look on my, my little studio there. Look, this is my croc stash. <laughs> I mean, when I, when I get a croc fairy giving me more <laughs> crockery, I think, okay, that's good. I'll give it to my students. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so this is what my work looks like today. Um, so it's uh, Caroline Jerry Waller, Mango Mosaic, over and out. See you soon. <laughs>